Hello boys and girls, today we're going to be studying force and motion and we're going to start our station number two. The name of the station is Make It Move and we're going to be using a ramp to see how force uh, affects the motion of an object. Our objective for today is going to be I can demonstrate and observe how position and motion can be changed by pushing and pulling objects. For this experiment, I'm going to use a ramp. I made the ramp with two books and one ruler. If you notice my rulers, my ruler has marks at the 10 centimeter, 20 centimeter, and 30 centimeters. At the bottom of the ramp, I'm going to place this cup, if you notice it has a hole, and every time I, I do my measurement, I'm going to put the cup in this line that I put as a starting line. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this marble first at the 10 mark, then at the 20 mark, and finally at the 30 mark. Every time we do experiment, we're going to do three trials. So we're going to start with the, with the marble pushing down the ramp at the 10 centimeter, and we're going to try three times, and we're going to record the distance every time the marble that is rolling down is going to push the cup back. So while well, we're going to register this, you're going to register these measurements in your student journal. Uh, one thing that you have to notice is that the marble is going to be moved by the force of gravity. So when I put the marble in the 10 mark, the, the force of gravity is going to be pulling down the marble. The higher I go on the ruler, the more gravity is going to be pulling the marble down, so it's going to accelerate the marble down the cup. So it's going to have more potential energy, and when I release it, it's going to become kinetic energy, which is going to move the cup. And the same here, the higher I go, the more potential energy I have stored. And when I release it, the more kinetic force is going to be going down the ramp and pulling farther away the cup. So let's start our first trial. Now, don't forget that every time that we do the, do the experiment, we have to measure the distance. That's why I have a ruler here to measure the distance. So let's start the first trial. So let's start at 10 centimeters. There it is, I'm going to let it go. And let's see how much it pushes the cup back. So that was my first trial. And if I use this pointer, I can see, I'm going to try to put it um, to the um, parallel to the starting line. And if you notice it's closer to four centimeters than to three centimeters. So we're going to run the number to four centimeters. So the first trial is going to be four centimeters. Write it down in your journal. Now let's do it again. This time, we're going to do it again, 10 centimeter mark. So let me place it here. Let me see that it's exactly in 10. So let's do it again. Now the cup moved a little bit. This time, it's exactly a little bit more than four, so it still rounds to four centimeters. That's telling me that the force is still kind of the same. And let's try the last time. Let me just make sure this is touching the zero. Okay, perfect. Now let's put this one in the initial marker. And let's try 10 centimeters again. There it is. Now this time went a little bit less. But still, if you see, it's three and a half, a little bit more than three and a half centimeters. So it still runs to four. So the four times was close to four. Only one time was exactly to four. Let's try now the 20 centimeter marker. Now, if you notice, now we are going to do at 20 centimeters, the distance from the bottom of the, of the roller is going to be 20 centimeters. I want to do three trials again. So don't forget to be uh, judging your answers, the answers in your journal. So let's put the marble this time in the 20 centimeter marker. And let's see how much the gravity force pulls and pushes and pushes the, the cup after releasing the potential energy into kinetic energy. And this time we notice that the more gravity force 
the more distance it's going to move. And this time, if you notice, it's almost seven centimeters. So our first trial, we're going to round it to seven centimeters. Now let's do the second trial. Let's put it back in the initial marker. Oops, I need the marble too. Put it in the starting line, and then let's do it again. There it is. This time, move a little bit further, and if you notice, past the eight centimeters, but stick is closer to eight centimeters than to nine centimeters. So I'm going to round it to eight centimeters. And let's do our last trial. Place it one more time in the 20 centimeter mark, and then let's release the energy. When we put the marker here, we notice that again it's closer to seven. So this time it's a little bit, um, they're actually keeping kind of the same because we have seven centimeters, eight centimeters, and seven centimeters. So if I run the numbers, all of them together, I think it's going to be around seven centimeters all the time, maybe a little bit more. So let's do now the last one, which is going to be the 30s in the 30 centimeters mark. Now we're ready to, for the last part of the experiment. This time we're going to start, we're going to place the marble in the 30 centimeter marker. And again, because it's higher, now we have more gravity force pulling down the marble and it's going to accelerate the marble with more energy. So it's going to push it even farther away. So let's see how far it goes. Let's do the first trial. So here it is in 30, let it go. Mm -hmm. And then we can see that this time it pushed it about 9 centimeters. It's closer to 9 than to 10, so I'm going to round it to 9. So the first trial is going to be 9 centimeters when we let it go from 30 centimeters. So let's put it back. Let's put the marble again here in the 30 marker and let's let it go. Oh, this one, this time went farther away. If you put it parallel to the initial line, now if you notice it's closer to 12 than 11. So the measurement is going to be 12. 12 centimeters. And let's do the last trial. Oh, this time, it went a little bit closer. Now it's closer to 11 than to 12. So the last one is going to be 11 centimeters. Now um, write these numbers in your journal and then we'll get, the, we'll get to the discussion in the live session. See you next time, guys. Bye.